Move it or lose it. What's up everybody, Jared here with another good old Netflix movie review. So I went and checked out their latest film from Steven Sodenberg, High Flying Bird. A sports agent pitches a controversial business opportunity to a rookie basketball player during a lockout. So does Netflix hit one from downtown? Let's find out. Now before we get into my thoughts, let me know what you guys thought of High Flying Bird in the comments down below. Was this a solid sports drama or was this kind of another failed iPhone experiment? Now let's get into some of the good. Honestly, I didn't know what to expect from High Flying Bird. I, I heard that it was a new Netflix film. Then I found out that it was from Steven Soderbergh and I was like, okay, maybe I'll give it a try. And then I also found out that he filmed all of this movie on an iPhone, kind of like he, what he did in, I think, last year's Unsane. So I was like, I gotta check this one out now. And I will say that this is definitely a step up from his previous iPhone ventures. And the thing is, that the, the movie, you know, it's only shot on an iPhone, but it's able to capture these great kind of like intimate moments between two characters. It's close up, it, it has these unique angles, and it's just a very enthralling movie. A lot of the movie is basically, you know, these intimate camera angles, these two characters just dialogue driven, just going back and forth talking to each other. But it just works because this is a character and dialogue driven film. It's quick, it's witty, it's sharp, like the, the dialogue just flows so freely back and forth between these characters in these scenes. And again, you wouldn't think that that's the case because, you know, it's just two characters talking about business plans, business proposals, just what they're going to do with their finances and on paper it doesn't sound that enthralling that interesting but the way that he's he's able to frame everything the way the characters deliver their dialogue it's very much entertaining the overall story also took this unique angle obviously it takes place during this like fictitious um, NBA lockout time period but rather than focusing on why the NBA is locked out not showing their things on TV it rather focuses on this rookie player his agent and how they're going to deal with, you know, finances, what they're going to do for money, and just the problems that this lockout is really giving them. In general, this is definitely a sports drama, but it definitely dives in deeper into kind of like a capitalist angle, kind of like what these people have to do with their careers, and just financial, personal stuff, rather than this overall lockout drama. The story also goes a little bit deeper, kind of painting these parallels between how the game used to be played, how the game is now built on top of another game, you know, similarities to slavery and prejudice, and you know, it does have this deeper meaning if you're looking for that, but if you're also looking for just kind of a sports drama with these two people wondering what they're going to do with fi their financials, it's there as well. The High Flying Bird is a solid flick, but I will say Towards the later part, probably the third act of this movie, some aspects that Steven Soderbergh is known for just didn't work for me here. Soderbergh has done the Oceans movies, Logan Lucky, and you know, at the end of those movies, everything kind of falls into place. You know, there's trickery, there's dealings that have been made on the side that haven't been revealed yet, and everything kind of works out in this peachy keen way for our main characters and in high flying bird that's kind of what happens towards the end it definitely has the soderbergh flavor but i will say some of the things just they didn't add up in my own opinion like it just kind of felt like they threw it in there and they're like oh yeah 24 hours ago this happened 48 hours ago this happened i mean it does tie up nicely towards the end but a few of the things sort of feel like they were you know forced together overall high flying bird is a solid netflix movie you know a nice sports drama and it's also quite amazing to think that this was all shot on an iphone with intimate camera angles character and dialogue driven story and it being much more than this simple sports drama but with some aspects in the third act not entirely working i would highly recommend checking out high flying bird it's not your typical sports film and that's what i like about it in closing i'm gonna give high flying bird 4.2 out of 5 boom shakalakas so what did you guys think of high flying bird i want to know in the comments down below anyways guys as always follow all my social media stuff down there there's more videos over there watch those like those subscribe down to my channel over there if you haven't and then until next time i'll see you later in in general this is definitely in in general this in 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 general this is definitely a sports